How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm fine. Doing well. All right. So, are you ready? Ready for our conversation today? I told you I was born ready. All right. Pick your number. So let it be five. Five. All right. Okay. All right. So let's take a look. Let me find your question. All right. So I have one question today, and it will spark a mini conversation. Okay. Yes. If if, I, if I'm not mistaken, first, did you get a haircut or you shaved or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, because we have here, you know, it's after Ramadan. We have Eid, and it's normal to shave to have a haircut or to shave during Eid. Ah. So this is different. Yeah. Interesting. And I'll let you in on a secret. I cut my hair this morning too. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Your haircut is better than mine. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, Thank here you. we go. Question, and it's number five. What would you do if you lost your phone? Wow, it happens a lot with me. So I can imagine it's not nice because you know uh, it's my personal computer. It's uh, it's really my personal computer. I have. Uh, my students' numbers, I have uh, business contacts, uh, my notes, so almost everything. So I, I have a laptop at home, but I rarely open it. So I would be crazy. I would go crazy and I would search for it everywhere. But uh -huh. thanks God, I, uh, I, uh, every time I lost it, I found it. So it's, that's thanks God for this. And... Do you know your own number? Because sometimes I kind of... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I see. I can see what you are uh, talking about. Uh, because I have two lines. So I know the number of one of them. The old one, but the new one, I can't maybe. Uh -huh. Now, now I, I, I try to memorize the two numbers, the two lines. Yeah. Uh-huh. Plus, you can call the number if you lose your phone and hear the sound, right? And maybe find uh, it. Yeah, yeah, of course. And, you know, because of the digital world, we, we, we now, we, I think we are a bit lazy remembering number. In the past, we used to uh, memorize uh, our numbers and our friends' number. But now, you know, you have your mobile phone and just you click or tick and there is go. But sure. now it's a different situation. So... I think uh, this uh, digital or technology made us a little lazier than before. Ah, interesting. We could say lazy. We could also say exponentially more effective. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, sir. Uh, what do you mean by this? Ah, exponentially more effective is that before we had to have a computer, we had to have a music device, we had to have a notebook, we had to have all these things, right? And yeah. now suddenly, in just a small little thing, we can have everything. Yeah. 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 Now I can see what you are uh, talking about. But sometimes I, you know, do you, you have, so I can see that you have more than one cell phone. Yeah, that's because my old one. Yeah. Ah, so you have, and it's important to have, you know, it's important to have two copies or uh, two mobile phones and two copies of your uh, important info. So we have, I think, a Google Drive uh, uh -huh. where you can store uh, your uh, important photos, uh, contact numbers, and so on. So you don't feel, you don't panic. So you don't panic. It, you, you just uh, worry about the cost of a new phone. You know uh -huh. what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. So... So maybe you, we have to be careful about this and we have a copy just in case. Sure. So ask me the same question. Do you remember the first question I asked you? Yeah. So what would you do if you lost your iPhone or your phone? Uh-huh. Uh, mine's a Samsung, um, but it's your cell phone. Uh, I guess it would be very inconvenient for the same reasons that you said. 
because it's so common and we take it for granted. But I, I think it would be inconvenient, but not the end of the world. <laughs> of course, it's not the end of the world, yeah. And, and I, I, try to, I try to remember to make backups so that, you know, it's replaceable, right? And I suppose yeah. if the worst thing happens, you know, it would be replaceable. It would be inconvenient and it would uh, cost me some time, but I would be able to recover. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you are well prepared for this. Good, sir. Good. Yeah. We should be prepared <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. Well, thank you for coming live. I'm going to move forward. Thank you, sir. But I just have a small question for you, Ken, please, if you don't okay. mind. It's about accent. So it's about accent. If you learn, for example, British accent, because, you know, the education system in your country is British, and you want to move to the American accent. Is there a problem? So what do you think about this? Well, um, I guess I would ask, what are your intentions? Because if you're just going for clear communication, the accent probably won't matter. Yeah. Yeah, I um, can see. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to act in like an American movie for an American role, then you probably need the, <laughs> the accent. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you you feel it doesn't matter. It's okay as uh, as you are, as you are clear or you are speaking clearly, communicating well, getting across your ideas. It doesn't matter or it doesn't this uh, this a big deal. It isn't a big deal. That, that's my opinion. I, first, I would identify your goal. You know, yeah. what is the reason? What, who is your audience, maybe? Um, and, yeah, I mean, if, if they really want, I mean, Australians, British, Americans, we have different slang, right? We have different informal type things. But if you're just going for communication and it's more like that, I, I wouldn't really worry too much. Yeah. 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 Thank you, sir. Have a great one. And thank you, you for adding me and giving me this nice, great opportunity. <laughs> thank you, sir. I learned a lot from you. And it's my pleasure always to join your lives. Okay. Thank you. Have a Have nice a great one. day. And All say right. hello Bye -bye. to your daughter. I met her. Where is your daughter? <laughs> I used to see her in your uh, uh, YouTube and, uh, you know, your lives. Is she uh -huh. okay? She's fine. She's working on a project right now. So that has her focus, which is good, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time. Okay. Thank you, sir. Until Thank you. next time, Anthony. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, uh, can you see me? I can see you. I can hear you uh -huh. too. Wonderful. Um, can uh, I get wonderful? Uh -huh. Can, can yes. I get your name and where you're from? Ah, um, yes. My name is Dina. I'm from Russia. Oh. Uh, it is uh, uh, Krasnodar region. Maybe okay. you've heard. Yes, okay. it is south. Okay. All right. So I will say uh, Stravstoitia. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and my, name, <laughs> my name is Michael. And I'm from America. But right now I'm living in Indonesia. It's very nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you too. Uh, I, uh, uh, I'm very, I am a little bit emotional. That is why... I don't speak maybe very well, uh, but uh, I understand you very well. Your pronunciation is great, certainly right? because uh, it is your native language, but uh, you, in common, you are a very pleasant person. Ah, thank you. To, to speak to you. Yes, to speak to you. It is very interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you some numbers to choose from. What would you like? Uh, numbers, uh, maybe eight. Number eight. Eight, okay. yes. All right. Yes. And the reason I'm asking you to choose a number is because I have a list of questions, okay? And okay. I'm going to ask you, you pick number eight, so I'm going to ask you this question. What would you do if you could only wear pink clothes? <laughs> Maybe it is not so bad because uh, pink, uh, pink. I like uh, this color, but there are uh, many um, uh, shadows of pink. That is why shades. Uh, shadows. I... Yeah, yes, shades. That is why I would choose maybe not so bright shades. 
Uh-huh. But I, I like, why not? Why not? Because uh, when you are positive uh, like you, and I'm a very positive person, uh, why not? It is not so bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. Sure. Uh, I'm very... Uh, and maybe, um, you know, uh, I'm very emotional because uh, I don't have some uh, people to speak to to English, to to them in English. That uh-huh. is why, it, to me, to me, it is very interesting to speak, especially uh, you are uh, from America. Uh, you know, it is uh, it is great. You know uh, what I want to tell you that. I have a very good uh, girlfriend from America. Okay. Yes. Yes, in Instagram. Uh, she she is artist. And she uh, we, we have so big uh, friendship that she sent me uh, her book and I I have sent her uh, also the book of my uh, husband because uh, he is a poet poet. Uh, that is why it is it is very very interesting to communicate to other cultures, other traditions, uh, and other world. Okay. okay. I, I, agree. <laughs> I agree. So, can, can you ask me the same question that I asked you? <laughs> the same? Do you like uh, to wear pink... Uh, 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 the, uh, do you like to wear the clothes uh, with pink color? And the question was similar, but a little bit different. What would you do if you could only wear pink clothes? You have no choice. So pink- <laughs> I think for you, it would be very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, because you are a man. Yes. So it's by when you chose number eight, just by chance, yes. if you got the question. So if you were a man, I would have asked the same question. So let's see, what would I do if I could only wear pink clothes? Uh, <laughs> I guess I would, uh, well, I guess I would accept it and I would move forward and I would probably wear the darkest shade of pink I could find. <laughs> or, or, or maybe the lightest, the lightest pink so it almost looks like it's white. <laughs> but but I think uh, that uh, uh, maybe your daughter would be very surprised because I saw frequently uh, your daughter with you. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, she she she. I think she, she would be very surprised. And uh, he she she said that uh, p- uh, Papa, uh, are you crazy? <laughs> to, to wear pink, <laughs> it right. is impossible. It is impossible. I, I even don't know what would you, uh, how you uh, we, will uh, explain to her why you wear pink. <laughs> right. So, so I I know that you have to to pay attention to other people certainly, uh, but uh, what I want to tell you that. Um, um, English, it is uh, English, uh, this language is my big love uh, for many, many years because I was uh, studied at uh, the Institute uh, for Foreign Languages uh, and uh, that is why my aim is to improve my language, to improve and not forget what I've studied. Sure. Well, Instagram is a wonderful way to improve your English. There's so much out there. Yeah. Yes, it is. It, to me, it is a great place because I've met so many, many uh, talented and positive people. So uh-huh. thank you very much. <laughs> you were great. You were amazing. And I uh, like you. Yes, I like your smile. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well- and say hello to your daughter, lovely. Okay, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Yes, and you too. Have a wonderful day. Thank bye you. bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello. How's it going? Great. How are you? I'm great too. And can I get your name and where you're from? Okay, my name is Jatne Rodriguez. I'm from Dominican Republic. Uh huh. 
Ah, entonces usted habla español. Gracias yeah. por venir y estar conmigo. <laughs> <laughs> so, my name is Michael. I'm from the United States, but right now I'm living in Indonesia. So, I'm going to give you some choices. What number would you like? Mm, five. Five, okay. Good thing you didn't get number eight last... Oh, wait, did you say number five? Yes, yes, five. Someone, someone already picked number five. Hmm? Repeat again? Uh, pick one that is empty, an empty box. Okay, 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 okay. Number four. Number four, okay. Yeah. All right. And did you see the last question? So it's good that uh, someone already did number eight. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see. Number four. Here we go. Ooh, nice one. Here we go. What would you do if you didn't need to sleep? What would you do if you didn't need to sleep? Right. Yeah. Um, that's a difficult question because everybody needs to sleep and if... Well, I take a, uh, I take a pill, a pill because it's necessary for the body to sleep. If you don't sleep, you will be in, a, in, the, in the moon uh -huh. and you will die too. <laughs> I will go to the, to the doctor and I will take a pill. I don't know, whatever, whatever I need to do because it's necessary. And the question is that you don't need to. So maybe your body doesn't need sleep. Maybe it's like a superpower. Oh no! I I I will I will go to to Instagram and do whatever for my life, be practice English or study something uh -huh. like that. Because my 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 body will be with 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 great <laughs> energy. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, yeah. I would do something positive for my life. Sure, you would have at least what, seven or eight extra hours per day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are lots of possibilities. Can you ask me the same question? Okay, what would you do if you didn't need sleep? Uh -huh. Ooh, I think that would be very interesting because, I mean, we sleep almost one-third of the day, right? Eight, I, I probably sleep about six or seven hours, but still, I would... I would make a lot more progress on my projects. I mean, mm. I would be able to work like crazy, right? Um, so I think it would probably lead to an increase in income, hopefully, which would lead to an increase to be able to do more things, travel and stuff like that. So I think it would be easy. It would, it would be very interesting. But it might be strange, too, if everybody in your life that you know, they have to sleep. <laughs> but you don't have to. So I don't know. Yeah, it would be interesting. Why, why other are sleeping, you are working. Right, right. And do you know the word in English for people that are unable to sleep? So it's a, like a medical condition, they're unable to sleep. Do you know the word in English? No, no, I don't know. It's called insomnia. Insomnia? Insomnia. Oh, in Spanish, like the same. Insomnia. Similar. Sure. Yes. And so that would be really frustrating because, like you said before, your body needs to sleep, right? Yeah, yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Well, thank you for coming live, and that is the question for today. And you thank you for you. <laughs> okay. You. Well, you're welcome to come back in the future. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. How are you? <laughs> what about you? I'm good, but I can't hear you that clear. Uh, let's see. Can you tell me your name and where you're from? Uh, yeah, I am from India. My name is No Sharma. Okay. All right. I'm Michael. I'm from America. Uh, nice hey, to nice. meet you. Same as here. All right. All right. Can you pick a number? Mm. One. Number one. Okay. Yeah. Cover that one. All right. Let me find your question. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> what would you do if you could speak to animals mm. and understand, right? 
Uh, first thing is that uh, animals uh, did, did not talk, but uh, we can understand their feelings, which is okay. very important. Which is very important to understand us. Okay, but what if you had a special ability that you were able to speak with animals and communicate with animals? Uh, it is impossible to communicate with animals, but uh, we can understand. Right, and we're. We're going to pretend that maybe it's like a superpower. It's an extra ability. So, would you do anything special if you could communicate with animals? First thing is that we should we should try to understand what needs to eat animals it means they want to go outside or anything other what they want to do. Sure? It means they don't see anything. right but we should need to understand it is it is happen only when we have some kind of a herd otherwise it is impossible okay well the question yeah. is kind of to use our imagination to pretend imagination yeah maybe but impossible <laughs> okay well ask me the same question okay same is for you means what would you do if i could if i could communicate with animals yeah yeah ooh, i think i would probably be rich because i could solve many people's problems uh, a lot of people they will pay good money to other people to fix their problems with their pets or uh their horses or their dogs or they're having problems and they can't figure it out so if you could communicate with animals you could fix problems like that and if you can fix problems that means you can create value for people and they would probably pay you mm-hmm. yeah but you can see in nowadays uh, means we human means like to eat animals meat so we should not mean do these things we should try to avoid this okay and well, now you say how means how we understand feelings it is impossible to understand because we want to eat this animal or that animal okay so, well the the yeah. the purpose of the question is is to just use your imagination it's not really to debate if it's possible because obviously it's impossible <laughs> yeah but the idea is to have a conversation okay yeah yeah and one question is from me i want to that means how we can say a speaker means fluently in english it is impossible to speak me means i am from india and there is not like like that type of atmosphere we 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 can exist i'm sorry i couldn't understand your question could you repeat i want to know that means in india here means we can speak our native language okay but when we try to speak in english that times many problems can come in my way So means what should I do to improve your English? Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Well, practice, practice, practice and practice. That's that's <laughs> that's the easy answer. And since you have access to the internet, you probably have access to Instagram for sure, YouTube, uh wow, if you have Google, you pretty much have all the tools that you need, right? Yeah. and yeah. you have to i would say to you you need to figure out your goals why are you yeah. why are you learning english what do you need it for what is your purpose and then it's easier to figure out what you need to do okay yeah yeah <laughs> okay well thank you for coming live thank you it was a pleasure and i need to move forward okay thank you all right <laughs> thank you hello Hi. How are you? I'm doing phenomenal. How about you? I'm fabulous. Wonderful. Can I get your name and where you're from? Uh I'm Ali from Saudi Arabia. Okay. Uh so I will say uh Ahlan and Shokran for coming live. Is that right? Oh, you're welcome. Thanks. Yes. Okay. So my name is Michael. It's great to meet you. Great to meet We you as well. We have four numbers remaining. What would you like? Let's go for number 7. Number 7. All right. Here we go. Let me find your question. 
hit me with it. <laughs> hit you with it. Let's see. Let me see if I can find it here. Here it is. Okay. If you had to eat the same item for breakfast for a year, what item would you choose? Hmm. <laughs> well, it's hard to pick, but uh, probably I'll I'll choose eggs. Okay. And I think it's good enough, and uh, it has all the good things your body needs. I think. Uh huh. I think that is a very wise choice, for a couple of reasons. But keep going. I'm sorry. Did I interrupt you? No, no. Go ahead. Ah. Uh, be well, let me ask you this. How do you like to prepare your eggs? Well, uh, here in Saudi, we prepare eggs different in different ways. And uh, usually, we put it in the hot water uh, for like 30 minutes or less than that. Uh-huh. So, um, I don't know what do we call it in English because... Boiled, boiled eggs. Boiled eggs, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So this is the common way we do it here. And do you eat them when they're hot or do you wait for them to get cold? Yeah, well, we usually wait for them to get cold. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think it's the best meal for breakfast. Uh-huh. And, uh, I mean, apart from the question I asked, do you guys usually mix something with the eggs or do you eat them all by themselves? Uh, me myself, I usually eat eggs, um, and I, you know, I drink some coffee or uh -huh. some tea, you know. Um, in fact, I usually don't. I don't have breakfast. We usually start our day with coffee and dates, as you know. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, have you ever tasted dates? I have. I think they're very healthy, and if you get good quality ones, they taste incredible. Yes. I think so. Uh-huh. And uh, have you, are you familiar with other ways to pre prepare eggs? Yeah. Uh, you know, some people do it in a way called shakshuka, if you are okay. familiar with it. <laughs> in fact, it's common in, in the Middle East. Uh huh. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Saudi invented you know this way. Okay. So basically, they uh, cook it with some onion and some pepper, uh, and it's uh, fabulous. Right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Are you familiar with uh, scrambled eggs? Um. No. Okay, the idea is they uh, maybe you take a bowl and you crack open the eggs before they're cooked, when they're raw. And you put the runny stuff in the bowl and you mix it around. Maybe you add some it's possible maybe milk or maybe cheese or maybe spices. And then you put it in a pan and you, you fry it. And then oh. it's good. There's also sure. eggs sunny side up where uh, you just take an egg and you crack it and you put it in the pan. And it's white around the edges and like a yellow sun in the middle. <laughs> Sunny side up. Yeah. Uh -huh. This so, one is good as well. Yes, yes. They're good. Yeah. And uh, all right. So you ask me the question. Do you remember? Well, uh, I could rephrase it. Sure. Uh, if you have to pick a meal to eat for one year, what you would choose? Aha. Uh -huh. And is it only breakfast or for yeah, any sure. meal? For, for, for breakfast, yeah. Breakfast. Hmm. Actually, I was thinking of a different answer, but when you mentioned eggs, I think I want to steal your answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was thinking of apples because I really like apples. Um, oh, plus for Able Lingo, I have apples everywhere, so wouldn't it be perfect? <laughs> That's uh -huh. good. But, yeah, I would probably do eggs, too, because you can prepare them in so many different ways. And like you said, they're very healthy. They provide good, uh, uh, you know, a lot of different nutrients and things that we need. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Right. So, 
Anything else you'd like to say about breakfast? <laughs> uh, I, I don't think so. Okay. All right. So thank you for coming live, and I'm going to move forward so we can get through the questions. Thank you so uh, much. You're welcome Take to care. come back in the future. I'll see you soon. All right. Bye bye. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Great. Can I get your name and where you're from? My name is Ariola. I'm from Albania. Okay. Uh, my name is Michael, and I'm from the United States. Very nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. What would you like? Mm, number three. Number three. Okay. All right. Let me find your question. Ooh, here we go. Remember, use your imagination. You can be whatever you want as the answer, okay? Okay. What would you do if you were a rock star? I'm a rock star. I have never <laughs> think about this question. <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> Hmm. Well, rock stars usually have a lot of this, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably I would be a singer. Uh huh. Okay. And what would you do? what would you do? Because we're we're assuming if you're a rock star, you're very successful, right? So you're making a lot of money. You have fans. Your your Instagram page has like ten million followers. <laughs> yeah. So what would you do if you had the life of a rock star? I would travel a lot. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Anything else? <laughs> no. <I> <laughs> okay. Ask ask me the same question. Okay. What do you do if you would be a rock star? Many things. <laughs> oh boy. I like your answer for traveling. I would travel like crazy. I would go on cruises. I would probably try to vi visit as many countries as possible. Um okay. if if I'm rich, rich rock rock star, oh boy, I could help a lot of people. I could uh, start projects, I could invest money, I could, yes, I could do many things. And um, if you're a rock star, what kind of music would you want to play? Rock music? <laughs> <laughs> so, for example, what kind of band or what kind of, uh, what, what, who would you be like? <laughs> I don't know. Um, if for me, have you heard of uh, John Bon Jovi? Oh, yes. I would it's be like favorite. I would be like John Bon Jovi, and he's also an actor. He acts in movies and stuff. He's very successful. Yeah. Or I would be like Michael Jackson. Ooh, the ki king of pop. Interesting. Yes. Wherever you go, people would scream the, your name and start crying and <laughs> be crazy. Okay. All right. Do you want to add anything else? I know. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for those lives you make for us. It's very helpful. Wonderful. Thank you for coming live and you're welcome to come back in the future. I'll see you soon. All right. Bye-bye. Bye Hello. Oh, can you hear me? I I can't hear you right now. I can see you, but I can't hear you. And how about how about right now? Yes, yes. Now I hear you. Wonderful. Hey, can let me you first at all? Uh, mm, uh, can, can you tell? Can you? Can you tell me your name and where you're from? Yeah, exactly. Uh, my name is Stephanie. I'm from China. Okay. So I will say uh, Ni Hao and Xie Xie for coming live. <laughs> so my name is Michael and I'm from the United States. Nice to meet you. And yeah. here we go. We have two numbers left. What would you like? Number two or number six? 
Number two. Number two. All right. All right. I'll cover up number two. Let me find your question. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. What would you do if you were bald? <laughs> what would you do if I were what? Bald. Do you know what the word bald means? Bald. Bald. B A L D. Uh, Let's see. Let's so, see. So. I will, I'm going to I can show you a picture if you'd like. Bald. Right. No, it's bald. A T B O A T, right? No, B A L D. Here, I'm going to show you a picture, okay? This man is bald. <laughs> Can you see the picture? I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> what would you do if you were bald? Uh, what is the question, teacher? What would you do if you were bald? Oh, oh it's a good question. The first <laughs> thing. Um, I think if I bought, I, 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 I gonna to get my job in social. It's very difficult, so I will try to to be a host or to be a teacher. Okay, sure. Yeah. Would Would you wear a wig? Do, do you know what a wig is? W W I G. Wait a minute. Uh huh. W I G. W I G. A wig. Oh, I got it. I got. It. Oh, okay. So if I am bold and I have a wig, mm, it's, it's definitely near to perfect. <laughs> so I I will become become to be confident in my life if I bold and have a wig. Uh huh. Uh, yep. Yeah. So. So I want to be. It's made me confident. Made me confident. It's just like right now in my life. Okay. Can and to be to be a is to be to be to be a normal people in 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 the in the social. Okay. Can you yeah. ask me the same question? Uh, what is my question gonna to ask you, right? No, ask me the same question that I asked you. So the the question was, what would you do if you were bald? Oh yeah. So now yeah. you ask me. Oh, I asked you double question, right? Same question, yes. Is is the two question I'm gonna to ask you whatever I wanted to ask, right? No, you ask me the same question that I asked you. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got you. I got you. And, okay. And uh, what were you gonna do? If your boat, uh huh. What would you do if you were bald? So what would I do if I was bald? No yeah. problem. <laughs> I think I would smile. I mean, I already I cut my hair very short, so I I don't think it would be a big deal. I think it would be easy for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And second question: If what were you? Gonna do if you bold and if you have a wig. Uh, I don't think I would wear a wig because I think maybe the wig would be itchy, maybe uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. Good question. 
<laughs> okay. All yeah. right. Thank you for coming live. You're welcome to come back in the future. All right. Uh, thank so, you. Thank you. And actually, it's, it's my first time uh, participate your live on Instagram. Wonderful. Time. Yeah, good to meet you. Likewise. So I will say, Xie Xie and Dai Tian. Okay, look, Greedy is from China. See you, everybody. All right. <laughs> Hello. Ben. Hello, Michael. Welcome back. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for receiving me. Okay. And how are uh, you? Would you like number six or number six? <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe number six. <laughs> Very good choice. Okay. So that is. Let me find your question. Here it is. Aha. Hmm. I'm trying to make you think. What would you do if you had ten children? Uh. Oh. Whoa. 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 <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do many things. All I want to do. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I don't pretend to have ten children. So, <laughs> if I would have ten of them, uh, uh, I wouldn't be able to to, to travel, uh, to to make a cruise, and and meet a different countries because that is my objective. So, uh, that's the question. Uh huh. So you you've told me what you could not do, but what would you do if you had no choice, <laughs> and you had ten? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no. If I if I uh, would tell you the truth, <laughs> maybe it it would be a a, a bad uh, answer, <laughs> a cruel <laughs> answer. And I don't pretend to offend anyone. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's okay. In, in the comment, someone said, "Oh, Moonlight, one, two, two, oh. four, five says I will run away forever." I will run away. Ah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, yes, I will. I will run away. I will uh, run away. Uh huh. Yes, uh, um, but but that's the that's the thing. Eh? It, that would. Could be a cruel answer to any to somebody, you know. Uh huh. That's the reason I, I I didn't want to to say that, but I will run away. Yes, I'm more like. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> See, someone else says, "Irit Iritovji, if I had ten kids, I would make a football team." Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Also, we can do it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Pretty sure. I, I I would have the the team for. Soccer, football, play. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Okay, so can you ask me the same question? Yeah, sure. Uh, teacher Michael, what would you do if you had a uh, ten children or ten? Right? ten, ten. And your your voice is very quiet. I can't hear you. Uh. Ah. Ah. Uh, Love. Uh, sorry. Oh, oh, you. You you have to be quiet. Mm, oh. Ah yes, because I have the the cell phone in my hand. Teacher, uh, what would you do if you had ten children? <laughs> I may, maybe I would have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, probably. My, my first question would be, are you sure they're all my children? <laughs> <laughs> But it it would be the ten the ten at the same time or not? No, no. It, it, right. We have to we have to use our imagination. Is it like yeah. Merry Christmas? Is it like Merry Christmas? Here are ten kids. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, thanks. I don't. Want... Yeah. That's what I say. I well, I I think if I had no choice, I would uh -huh. find a way. To, I would find a way to make it work. It would probably be very difficult because it takes a lot yes. of money, right? A lot of money, a lot of resources. Yes, and um, as you said, if I, if you had no choice, choice, sorry, yes, we have to work in order to to it work. Uh huh. So it's a, a difficult mission, but we have to do it. Ten lives. Welcome to this world. Yes, re responsibility. Yes. 
Yes, of so for sure. I wouldn't run away. That that was just a joke. <laughs> no, really, I would be responsible <laughs> for my actions. <laughs> But I I think maybe it's a good question to make us think about choices before we do it, right? <laughs> yes, yes, it is a. a an offer to to think about it <laughs> and to and to educate uh, about uh, sexual education <laughs> <laughs> that, this one is a good question for teenagers don't you think ah yes right yes mm. we need uh, more sexual education at least in my country we need to we need to get informed about that uh-huh Despite it is a, 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 a stupid question, and we can think about it and use this for the for the humanity, for the mankind, in order to to get educated. For in for example, in my country, we need that kind of education. No. Uh huh. I see Marcelo Bonferm in the comments says, "I have five children. It's easy." <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, oh, you have to teach us. Have to tell us how to do it. <laughs> I think we could probably learn a lot of things from Marcelo. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, and also we can learn learn of uh, those from children. Maybe when uh, once they are uh, growing up, we can learn. Uh, we can teach them, and also we can uh, learn with him, with them. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. Well, thank you for having a conversation with me. Thank you for coming live. Michael, thank you to you for doing all these videos on live because those are really useful to us. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Have a great day. You too. Have a great day. All right. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Amigo.